Sometimes you just get tired of all the drama that comes with those cliches and cringy high school rom-com anime. Well, that's why we're going to talk about the top 10 romance anime that'll make you feel good. Let's go. Number 10, Norin. Jimmy. We all know that idols are popular in places like Japan, but there's one person that just takes it to another level. You see, our boy Kosako is obsessed with an idol named Yuka, so when she retires, bro's mental health just declines and becomes a neat. Well, he's gonna get the shock of a lifetime when he comes back to school because guess who's there? First off, I have to tell you that there's gonna be a lot of farming that's involved here, but it's so wholesome and fun that you're actually gonna enjoy it. Another thing is that the things that happen here are just so hilarious and bizarre, but still though, it does have some seriousness in it. You might even learn a moral lesson or two that's gonna change the way that dark wee part of yours runs. Number 9, Inari Konkon. <laughs> If you ever had the ability to transform into anyone, what would you do? Me? I'd become a billionaire and just live his life. But that's the exact question our girl Inari was hit with. Inari is super clumsy, but at least she's kind, so one day, a goddess repaid her kindness after she saved a fox pup. That's when she gets the ability to transform into anyone and also get a bit more courage along the way. The thing is, this is still a high school romance anime, but it doesn't have that pesky drama anywhere. It's more like it's filled with cute situations where Inari is just trying her best. This is the exact show shown in Lover's Fear, a series that's full of fun, cuteness, and just some wholesome moments. So, if you're into that kind of series, why not give it a watch? Number 8, Grandma and Grandpa Turn Young Again. Now, children, move away because it's time for the senior citizens to shine! Literally! <laughs> you could probably tell what this series is about judging from its title alone, and you'd be right. The Satao couple have been married for a very, very long time, but one day, they just suddenly turn young again. Now that they have some youth back in their system, they just enjoy life. What could be more wholesome than two seniors turned teenagers just fallen in love again? However, what makes it more interesting is that it actually talks about how people and their surroundings are affected because just imagine your dad being younger than you. It's just pure chill and warm goodness that you could watch without having to feel guilty. I mean, while I was watching it, I didn't even get bored because I was genuinely curious how things would turn out. Number 7, Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. <laughs> If you read the title, you know that this anime is going to be so sweet that after watching the last episode, you would have diabetes. You see, fairies were betrayed by humans like the dirty rats we are, but one girl named Anne wants to see both races be equal. She wants her sweets to be recognized as the best, and to accompany her on this journey is a fairy named Xiao Fen Xiao. As I mentioned before, this is just pure shouju goodness, and you can tell from the character designs and the art style alone. You might also be surprised that the quality is very consistent and actually really good. Another thing to know is that the MC isn't actually an angel and can sometimes be a hypocrite, which to me is kind of refreshing. You barely see any of that in shouju anime right now. Number 6, Kamisama Kiss. Yashiro 
Now, don't go on a riot yet because I know that Kami Samakis does have some drama in it, but you gotta admit, it does make you feel good. The anime follows our girl Nanami, who probably is the unluckiest person in the show, to the point where a god literally made her become his replacement without her even knowing. That's when she meets a fox familiar named Tomoe, and her life completely changes. <laughs> At first, the characters aren't really getting along well with each other, but as time went on, it became a sweet, heartwarming series that you could never get tired of. I mean, a lot of people actually like it, and it's not just me. There's even no fan service in this one, but we do have a beach episode, which is kind of a requirement when it comes to romance anime. Overall, though, it's great. Number five, my big sister arrived. Remember Kaon? Imagine an anime with a similar art style, a stepsister plot, and a less perverted version of Kiss X Sis. Say hello to my big sister arrived. Our boy Tomoya was living his life peacefully until one day when he got an older sister who likes him a little bit too much. Not only that, she has some even crazier friends that's gonna bring a whole lot more craziness. <laughs> to be fair, there is some incest in this anime, but it's not the cringy and edgy type. Sometimes it could be even a bit cute and heartwarming. Well, sometimes. The characters are pretty interesting to watch, and there are some genuinely funny moments in this series. I also dig the art style, since it makes the entire anime feel refreshing. The best thing about it is that the episodes are just three minutes long, so you can watch it while eating a snack. Number four, Duke of Death and His Maid. I kid you not, if I had the power to make one anime become popular, it would be this one, because I have no idea why no one talks about it. The Duke of Death and His Maid follows the story of a young duke that has the ability to kill anything he touches, but his life isn't all that bad since he has a bunch of people that are willing to stay with him, especially his maid. And of course, the maid and the duke fall in love. Now, you might be thinking just how the romance of this show actually progresses. <laughs> well, it's really hard to explain. They kind of already like each other, and the entire series just fleshes out their relationship even more. You could even tell that she cared for the Duke in a genuine way, too, which is just so wholesome. Number three, the ice guy and his cool female colleague. This guy's life is literally a living hell. Or is it a living freezer? You see, Himuro is really kind, but whenever he feels some intense emotion or just has a lot of mental work, a blizzard just comes out of nowhere and makes everyone miserable. But everything changes when he meets Fuyutsuki, who has a way to stop his ice breakdowns. <laughs> What's more wholesome than two employees falling in love in the workplace? Am I right? The romance here is definitely mature and the art style is one of the best you'll see in any romance anime. The MC might have ice powers, but the way he and Fuyutsuki interact is just heartwarming. No pun intended. I mean, I guess I have nothing else to say. Just some wholesome people make my heart go doki doki. Number two, a sign of affection. Oh. What do you think is a clear sign of affection? Well, I can tell you one thing. It's not when your crush runs away from you. Our girl Yuki is somewhat deaf, so when she goes to her campus and communicates with her friend, it's mostly through text messages. But everything changes when she meets Itsuyumi, and her mundane life might become more and more exciting. Wakatta. Wakatta. 
Now, it is just like a silent voice, but the characters are in college and everything is a little less depressing. It's just adorable, and the way it tells the slice of life story from Yuki's perspective makes you think that there's still some good left in the world. Even if the main girl is having some difficulties, we don't dive deeper into her backstory, so the entire series has no drama. It's just a chill, wholesome series. Number one, to Dure Children. There's nothing that can make you feel as good as when it comes to watching children growing up. And that's exactly what happens here. You see, in Tadure Children, we get to know a group of characters as they grow and face the difficulties of young love. I mean, there are 13 main characters, and each one of them is as unique as the other. <laughs> With that big of a cast, you might think that it's becoming overwhelming. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not really the case. It's not your usual high school romance because some of the characters actually get less screen time than normal. But that doesn't mean it's bad because the interactions they have are natural and warm. Why have one couple when you can watch a bunch? Which is why it's number one in our list of the top 10 romance anime that'll make you feel good. Thank <laughs> you.